There is a full series of video tutorials on using .loop, or will be shortly, but I wanted to provide a very condensed crash course to help get you started. .loop offers a great deal of functionality, but here I'm just going to focus on the bare bones of using it to submit documentation to the office. Kale does require that all paperwork for sales deals be submitted through .loop, so I want to make that as easy as possible. The first step, of course, is to access your account. If you need assistance with this, please either view the instructions for signing in to .loop for the first time on kaletraining.com or watch the video tutorial on the same subject. .loop allows you to write up documents for your transactions and obtain e-signatures. However, for this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you have hard copies or PDFs of your documentation. You'll want to go to your loops page by clicking this icon up here that looks like an eyeless smiley face. The loops page, of course, is where all of your loops live. Now, a loop is basically a home for all the paperwork for a particular transaction. You can create a new one by clicking this big blue plus sign here. Give your loop a name. I strongly suggest using the property address. and click Create Loop. Once you're in the loop, you'll first want to select a transaction type, then a loop status. This is to make sure the loop shows up in the admin's account once you submit it. Now in this case, we're going to say I'm in a rush to get a listing into the MLS. I need to get the listing agreement to the central office for the managing broker's signature and initials before close of business, so I don't have time to learn all the ins and outs of the system. Not a problem, this is simple. As soon as I create a loop, a couple things are automatically added. Down here, under People, you can see that Admin for Kale Realty has been added. Above that, under Documents, you have your first folder. For the sake of organization, not to mention sanity, I recommend naming all folders to reflect what's in them. Just click these three little dots to the right of the folder name and select Rename. I'll call this folder Listing Docs. So I've already met with my seller and had her sign and initial the listing agreement. She's still working on the disclosures though. Since I need the managing broker's signature and initials to put the listing in the MLS, I'm going to go ahead and submit the listing agreement without the disclosures. In my folder, I have a big blue button that says Add From. I just click on that and select Computer. I just want to add a document, which is just like adding an attachment to an email. Since I don't have the disclosures, now that I've uploaded the listing agreement, I want to go ahead and send that to the admin. All I need to do is click Submit to Review in the upper right corner of the loop. I'll need to enter my address if that hasn't been entered already. Since my loop only has one folder, the listing docs folder is selected by default. The only other thing I need to do is select which kind of review I'm requesting, listing or contract. This is obviously a listing review. I click Submit, and that goes to the admin, who will make sure the listing agreement is filled out correctly and completely, as well as sign and initial for the managing broker. The admin will then update the review status of the loop, 
I'll receive notification that the status has been updated, so I'll know to check the loop for the fully executed listing agreement. Just so you know, since I haven't submitted the disclosures for this property, I can't expect the admin to change the review status to approved listing. Instead, she'll change the review status to returned to agent and send me a note requesting the disclosures. Whenever I get them from the seller, I can upload them to the listing docs folder and, again, click submit to review. In the meantime, though, I have my listing agreement signed off by the managing broker and can go ahead and enter the listing in the MLS. Congratulations, you just survived the dot loop crash course.